What do playing with fire, saving lives, and sewing clothing all have in common? They all play a significant role in my STEM career. My name is V. Rapp, and I'm a research scientist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. A research scientist is someone who conducts research or studies things to answer scientific problems. For example, they could be studying mummified bones in a laboratory using lasers to better understand a person's daily life and diet. They could be creating new technologies to help purify water. Or, in my case, they could be studying flames to help us burn things better and cleaner. Growing up, I loved experimenting with everything. This including baking cakes without recipes, taking apart computers to see how they worked, and even modifying my model rocket to help it reach new heights. I especially enjoyed the experiments that we conducted in my high school chemistry class. That's when our teacher showed us how to melt a hole in concrete by burning lithium metal. He let us smell the compounds that contribute to bad breath. And he showed us how to create different colored flames using a variety of chemical salts. Chemistry is one of the many classes that sparked my interest in STEM. One of the greatest things about pursuing a career in STEM is that you get to continue doing these fun experiments to advance science. As a combustion scientist, I spend a lot of time in the laboratory playing with fire and of course with the proper safety equipment. In the laboratory, I develop new burner technologies that help improve efficiency and reduce pollution emissions from appliances such as water heaters, furnaces, and cooktops. Using a combination of experiments and computer models, I can create new designs that can help improve upon the current technology. This is similar to using an app to try out different hairstyles before actually cutting your hair. I mean, you want to make sure it's really what you want before it's permanent. I'm also really lucky because a lot of my research is directly applied to advanced technologies that improve human health. For example, one of my recent research projects was to improve wood-burning cookstoves used in Sudan, Ethiopia, India, and Uganda. Imagine living in a small, crammed hut with your family in the middle of a dry, barren wasteland. When you wake up in the morning, your only option for cooking food is to start a campfire in the middle of your hut. As the hut begins to fill with smoke, your eyes begin to burn, and it becomes very difficult to breathe. Regardless, you continue preparing the meal because you and your family have to eat. As you can imagine, cooking this way is extremely harmful to one's health. In fact, about 4 million women and children die prematurely every year from inhaling this smoke. To address this problem, I worked with a team both inside and outside of the laboratory to design better cook stoves. These stoves improve the wood burning process to reduce smoke and other harmful pollutants. One of the biggest challenges we faced was actually including enough desirable features that would entice people to replace their old stove. When it comes to technology, you really can't force someone to use something new. One example of this is cell phones. Each year, phone makers need to add enough new features to entice the user to replace their existing phone. We consumers will only go through the hassle of upgrading if the new design is significantly better than the previous design. This process is similar with cook stoves. We not only need someone with the expertise in combustion science to improve the wood burning process, but we also need people with expertise in engineering design as well as behavior science to make sure that we include enough desirable features that will entice people to replace their old stoves with the new one. Combining these help us create a stove that reduced smoke emissions by 90%. And we were able to identify the necessary design features to entice people to buy the stove. Now, the Department of Energy and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory are taking the knowledge that we gain from designing clean and efficient cook stoves to helping U.S. manufacturers design clean and efficient wood heaters used in American homes. Working in the laboratory and the field to help reduce human suffering has been hugely satisfying. That said, science has always been only one aspect of my life. In high school, for instance, 
I loved playing soccer, taking photographs, and participating in debate. Now, I love teaching my five-year-old son how to take jumps at the dirt park, going camping with my family, and sewing clothing. Because doing these activities require using different parts of my brain than those I would use for my science activities, it really helps me feel rejuvenated. Honestly, taking these breaks is exactly what I need to inspire creativity and has given me some of my greatest research insights. For example, when I was making a fabric book for my best friend's daughter while in quarantine, I realized I could make masks for my family and friends. After researching many designs online, I found the ideal pattern and made the necessary modifications to ensure the mask would be comfortable and fit. My experience with cook stove emissions also helped me interpret data in a few scholarly articles, which helped me identify which fabrics would do the best job of stopping germs from spreading. Designing these masks not only fed my creativity, but they also help give me new research ideas that I get to conduct when I go back to work. In my opinion, the best part about being a research scientist at a national laboratory, like Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, is that I have the flexibility to pursue research problems that I'm passionate about, that have impact, and that can improve human health. So if you're curious about the world, love solving problems, and want to have a lot of fun along the way, then studying STEM is a great way to do all of these things. On top of all of that, you may discover something that can have impact across multiple fields. Energy and technology are always evolving, and with a career in STEM, you get to evolve with them. To learn more about me, my fire-related research, or Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, you can reach out to me on Twitter at V underscore Thanks for watching, and I look forward to answering your questions.